So many books! Not enough room! No! Hey guys! It's Jess. I'm here today with a haul. This is actually a cumulative haul. Most of it is from the book outlet Boxing Day haul. And then I have a handful of books I picked up here and there since Christmas. First, we have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Sands. Sands? I'm not sure. This book is a story about friendship. The big thing that sold me on this book is it takes place in El Paso, Texas. And I used to live in El Paso, Texas. And no offense to anyone who lives in El Paso, Texas, I hate it there. But because it was a book about El Paso, Texas, I was like, I want to read that. And then I have Oh Why Sean East Panama. This is actually a book in German. I am currently learning German. And the entire book's in German, so it's a children's book. And I just figured it'd be a good read for me to kind of get into the habit of reading, like reading German literature, trying to learn it as a child would. So that's why I picked that one up. Anyone who has seen my prior hauls knows that my wonderful friend Lexi for Christmas got me the first in the Mara Dyer trilogy. So I picked up the second, The Evolution of Mara Dyer. I have not read the first, but I want the second and the third for when I do. So I picked up the second one. Blythewood and Ravencliff by Carol Goodman. This is actually two books. I think there's going to be a third, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is about an academy that teaches students who know magic or are magical, from what I understand. So I just thought this would be an interesting series, so I picked these two up. And those are all the books that I got not from Book Outlet. Now we have all the books that I picked up from Book Outlet. I got a lot of books from the Book Outlet Boxing Day sale. I figured... I am not going to be able to buy books in the coming new year, which we're in now. And so I might as well make the most of my, the last of my year. And I got a lot of money from my brother for Christmas, so I spent it all on books. <laughs> First, we have Defiance by C.J. Redwine. This book is about, I assume this is the main character, her male protector has died and she's given to the man who denied her love two years ago, and now they're trying to escape this oppressive society that they're in, and so they fight to escape, and they fight in the wild, and I think they end up loving each other in the end. Then we have Going Too Far by Jennifer Eccles. This one is a girl who wants out of her small town, and she runs into a cop who wants to teach her a lesson about defying the law, and she ends up teaching him a lesson at the same time about all the things he was taught and he believes. And so that's that one. Then I have, I showed a book in one of my prior hauls because I have a horrible habit of buying the second in a series and not the first <laughs> when it's on Goodreads. And so I bought Anna Dressed in, Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendra Blake. This girl is a tortured ghost and she meets a boy who is hellbent on revenge for a ghost that killed his father. I think it's a horror book, something I have never read before. Next is Is It Night or Is It Day by Fern Schumer Chapman. This one is about a German 12 year old who's moving to Chicago all alone to escape from Hitler Germany and her escape is part of the 1000 Children Project. Don't Call Me Baby by Gwendolyn Heasley. This is about a mom who writes a blog about her daughter and this is her telling her real story, not her mother's embellished story. This is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I have read this book before. I read it my first year of college, and I just bought it because I don't own it, and I want to read it again. So this is about a man who jumps a circus train and becomes part of the circus, takes care of the, takes care of the animals, and ends up falling in love with a woman who's part of the main act. That's really all I remember. So I'm excited to read it again because I know I absolutely loved it. Let's see if I love it just as much for five, four years later. Fallen Angel by Heather Terrell. I'm not a huge fan of the cover. It seems kind of cheesy to me. This is about a boy who meets a girl and they both find out they have powers and then they have to work together to find what they are and really who they are, how they ended up this way. This is Anywhere But Here by Tanya Lloyd Kai. This is about a boy whose mom dies, and he wants to leave the small town he's in, but he can't leave his dad because he feels bad. And then he discovers a secret that might keep him there forever. And I really, I'm not going to lie, I really love this cover. I think it's, it's a really cool photo. All the Right Stuff by Walter Dean Myers. 
And I'm pretty sure this is just like a friends in the summer kind of book, all helping each other do whatever. So this will be a really quick read, but I don't really have any idea what it's about. So I have a massive Philippa Gregory book, The White Princess. This one is a prince who has to marry the princess of an enemy kingdom, but she's still mourning over her lost husband, the king, and so he's trying to pull her out of that. That's really all I know. Next. I was so excited to see the Grisha Trilogy on the Boxing Day book outlet sale. I have been stocking book outlet for all three of these to be available. And finally, they're here. They're in my hot little hands and I'm so thrilled to read them. So this is about, from what I understand, I am amazed I have managed to avoid spoilers. So please, please don't spoil me in the comments because I try to do you the favor. Please do me the favor. So this is about a girl who gets sent out to fight in the fold and discovers that she has some crazy power and then she gets sent back to the kingdom to protect the kingdom or the king. That's really all I know. But it's a trilogy and it gets raved about on booktube so I am super excited to finally get to read it and enjoy it as well. Next I have Glamour in Glass by Mary Robinette Kowal. Uh, if you know if I am not 100% sure if this is a standalone or if this is a sequel to Milk and Honey. If you know, let me know down in the comments because if it is, I'm going to have to pick up Milk and Honey and I will just say FML because this happens all the time. <laughs> I try so hard to make sure books aren't sequels before I buy them on a Goodreads sale and then I fail miserably every time. This book is a historical fiction about a couple on a honeymoon and they're trying to escape this hostile country and... Her husband gets thrown in jail and she has to try and get him out. That's really all I know. But when I read the back, it says you're following characters from another book. So I'm hoping it is an imperative that I have read that book. Well, if you know, let me don't know down in the comments if I have to read Milk and Honey before I read this. Thanks. Next we have Forget Me Not by Carolee Dean. This book is about a girl who has scandalous photos passed around in school and... Now she attempts suicide because it's ruined her reputation and she's gotten, from what I understand, she's gotten really close to death or she's like in this like halfway zone and she can see ghosts. So that sounds awesome. I'm totally into that. I want to read that. Next we have The Blessed by Tanya Hurley and all I know is this, a, this is about three girls, maybe three ghosts and a church. That's all I know. If you know more without spoiling, let me know down below because I thought the cover was really super creepy. That's part of the reason why I got it. So let me know about this one if you've read it. So this is Everlast by Andrea Buchanan. This is about some kids who are working on a literature project and then they get sucked into this fairy tale world. That sounds cool. <laughs> it sounds like sometimes a dream come true, right? Next, we have Complicit by Stephanie Kuhn. This one is about this boy whose sister just gets out of juvie and she had lit the barn on fire. And that's why she's there. And she comes back and tells him about this huge secret about them. And now they're trying to protect each other or save each other. Not really sure, but that's Complicit. This is Lexicon by Max Berry. This book is about pe kids who go to school to pretty much talk people into telling them the truth or doing what they want them to do, from what I understand. And this sounds so awesome. And the cover, I just really like the cover. It seems super freaky. I also love this weird, like, symbol on the front. MB is Max Berry's initials. But it kind of looks like guns. Kind of just looks like a border. It looks really cool. I like it. Then we have Waiting for Robert Kappa by Susanna Fortes. This is about a Jewish German and a Jewish Hungarian in World War II. And it's about love and tragedy. So that's all I really know. It's really short. I've heard a lot of great things about this book. The reviews are great. So I'm really excited to get into a historical fiction because we all know I love historical fiction. The buying of the sequel unknowingly strikes again with Destiny's Path. It turns out this is the second book. The first book is called Warrior Princess. I already bought it for like two bucks on Amazon. I hope it's good. This cover seems slightly cheesy, but Hopefully the writing's not that way. This is by Freewin Jones. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I have never read this book. I have never seen this movie. I just know it's about a zombie who has feelings. Which, 
is a twist on the classic zombie story. I'm exposed by Susan Vaught. This is about a straight-A student who has a great family, and she starts to get involved with someone online, and then things get dangerous. She has to save her family. That is exposed. Two more! This is the first Scratch and Dent book I have ever bought from Goodreads that actually has an issue. So if anyone has ever cut open boxes after moving or cut open boxes at your work, you know you can end up cutting whatever is under, whatever's right below the tape, and it looks like that's what happened to this one. I taped it. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a nice little cut right there, and it goes <laughs> all the way through the book, so I had to tape it over there. But now, it's fine. This is Forever Summer by Allison Noel. This is actually a bind-up of two books. I just think it's a summer contemporary reads. So, just one of those contemporaries that you go through really quick, a beach book, if you will. And last but certainly not least is If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. This is about a girl who lived in the forest because her mother kidnapped them and kept them there. And now she and I think her sister have been thrown into modern world high school caring about clothes and boys. And she's confused and lost and she's trying to figure out why her mother did what she did and how she's supposed to act now. And... That is my haul! If you have read any of these books, please let me know if you liked them, if you hated them, down below. Stay tuned to my channel. I will do a review of absolutely every single one of these books sometime when I finally read them. Hopefully by the end of the year. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Probably not going to happen. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!